Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and today's video is five things we learned versus Watford. Manchester United have beaten Watford 1-0 in the FA Cup and we're through to the next round and all that matters is we won the game and we're through to the next round. However, I have to admit it was not the most exciting game. We looked really good. I thought it was going to be an exciting game. We played well for about the first 20 minutes, went 1-0 up very early on, looked good, then bleh, bleh. it wasn't the most exciting game, but we won. But yeah, in today's video, I'm going to get into five things we learned from the game. My match reaction, my match thoughts, all to the game. And I have to apologise for not uploading in three or four days. It's the longest I've gone without uploading. And I don't really have an excuse because I'm in lockdown. I wasn't really doing anything. I just wasn't really in an uploading mood, you know. But what I did do in that time is I went on the hair dryer treatment channel on YouTube. Go search them up, hair dryer treatment or ladies in red show. And I appeared on the ladies in red show and we talked about Man United for about 40 minutes. So definitely go check out that video after this video. I'll put a link in the description or comments or something to watch that video after this video. But like, subscribe, share and let's get into the first thing we learned. And that is that Bailly and Tuanzebi are a great centre back partnership. And I think that was one of the reasons we had such a good start. Now, obviously, we didn't end the first half the most interesting, but with Bayern 2 and Zabi, we could play a high line because their pace and they don't have to worry about a ball in behind. They dealt with Islamis, Ismail Isar's pace pretty well. Um, unfortunately, Bayern is injured. Hopefully, it's nothing too serious. But what I mean is, I think yes, that just we've just played better with pace. We can play like a higher line. When we play a higher line, you create more chances, you attack more, you can play the ball around quicker. Obviously, it kind of faded into the second half, but we attacked them really well in the first 20 minutes. I think a lot of that was because we could actually get a lot of the ball because we dominated possession, especially in that first half. We absolutely dominated possession. And the reason we dominated possession was two quick centre backs, high line, easier to get the ball and play it around. So, yeah, I think that's the first thing we learned. I thought Axel Tu and Zabi had a great game. I think if Bai is in, injured, I feel like Axel Tu and Zabi should play with Maguire. Now, I'm a big Lindelof fan, but I don't want Lindelof and Maguire to play together. Like, Lindelof and Tu and Zabi, poof. Maguire and Tu and Zabi, poof. Maguire and Lindelof, nah. But yeah, that's the first thing we learned. The second thing we learned is that lots of players didn't show up and Oli had to resort to the subs bench for 30 minutes to go. Which is really frustrating because I don't think Oli wanted to resort to the subs bench. I think he wanted a proper rest for Rashford and Martial. But a lot of players didn't show up, especially in attack. I thought Mata had a poor game. Now, I'm not going to go in on Greenwood because it's not his fault. He got no service. But I thought Mata had a poor game. Daniel James couldn't cross to save his life. Lingard was pretty meh. You know what? If we didn't really create much. And yeah, we had to. I think a lot of players had a chance. I thought Brandon Williams, he was okay, but he wasn't bad, he wasn't good. He didn't really impress. I don't, I mean, Tom Lowe was decent. I just don't think Lingard, Matter, Greenwood, James, or Williams had their best game. And we had to resort to our subs bench, which is what Ollie doesn't want to do. And I think it shows the quality between the first team and the reserve team. There's just so much difference in quality. And yeah, I, I don't think we played particularly well and I think a lot of players didn't show up. I thought Matter should have made it 2-0 with that brilliant pass from Donny van der Beek. But yeah, I don't think a lot of the players today were good enough and that's why we had to resort to our subs bench. Which is funny because when we're winning, we make subs with half an hour to go, but when we're losing, we make subs with like five minutes to go and I stole that off Twitter, but I saw that on Twitter somewhere. But yeah, the third thing I want to talk about is Donny van der Beek, I thought was one of the bright sparks in the game and I'm going to give man of the match to Donny van der Beek. I thought Matomalai was good, I thought van der Beek was good and I thought Dean Henderson was good and I thought Tuan Zabi was good. Um, obviously Matomalai gave the ball away a little bit and that's why he's not man of the match. But Donny van der Beek, when he gets the ball, he always wants to move it quickly. And I think that's what we were missing in the second half. Is the only player that really looked like he was going to get the ball and move it quickly was Donny van der Beek. Whenever he got the ball, boom, 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 one touch play, looking forward. He's very intelligent. You can see him making these runs. He doesn't always get past you, but he's always running into these gaps, trying to find gaps, pointing at other players at where to go. You can tell he's an intelligent player. He did that great flip to matter. He looked really good throughout the whole game. He played in the box-to-box -box role in a reduced team. I'd love to see Donny Bruno Fred in the midfield or Donny Bruno Pogba. I just think it'd be really exciting to see. The fourth thing we learned is Manchester United started really well, pressed really well for 20 minutes and then just slowed down. And after that 20 minute, we didn't really look that much like scoring. Now, I don't think Watford ever really looked like scoring. You know, they had a few set pieces, but I think I, I never thought that we were going to lose that game. Watford didn't look like they were causing us too many problems. But after about 20 minutes in, we didn't really do much. We didn't really create chances. Which brings me to my fifth and final point, which is Mason Greenwood 
got no service. When people go in at Anthony Martial, they need to look at Greenwood tonight. He had to drift wide because he couldn't get the ball. Mata had a poor game. Daniel James, I like Daniel James. And he has so many good aspects of his game, but he has so many poor aspects of his game. Daniel James can make these brilliant runs, these brilliant dribbles, drive with the ball, cause problems. Then a simple cross, he goes, boom, doesn't look up and gives it to no one. Or a crap shot. His player intelligence, his decision making is poor. Like, I like Daniel James, but what the fuck was he doing? Uh, Matter was poor and Greenwood got no service and that's I, that's the problem. Our attackers don't get that much service. And Greenwood kept having to drift out wide. Now, now when Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial came on, they looked instantly more like something was going to happen. Now Rashford had made a good run, had a good shot, Rashford then tried to have another shot. But whenever Anthony Martial got the ball, one, he held it up really well. He did these one-twos, intricate play and was moving the ball forward, winning free kicks. Martial didn't really have much impact. Well, he did have an impact. Every time Martial got the ball, the ball was played forward, one twos, intelligence runs played, you know, don't really think Martial gave the ball away a lot, winning fouls, he just looked so much better on the ball than Dan James and Greenwood. And, you know, Rashford looked really threatening when he got the ball, and I think that's the thing. Rashford and Martial, when they got the ball, it felt like something was gonna happen. When Dan James got the ball, it felt like it was gonna go off for a goal kick. But anyway, that's five things we learned from Manchester United 1, Watford 0. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below as I read and reply to a lot of my comments. Hit that like button if you have not already. Subscribe down below. Share this video. Burnley preview tomorrow. So excited for the game, but it's bloody Burnley. See you next time.